Lord, bless me. Heal me. Lift me up. Give me food. Give me money. Me, 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 me. That's not just what prayer is about. Let's talk about the right way to pray. Let's go. Hello guys, thank you for joining me today in the new video. My name is JP, and if you're new on this channel, well, I'm a young Christian, and I talk about how to walk the life of a believer in this evil world through your passions and through your daily routine. So if this is something you're interested in, please consider subscribing and clicking on the bell icon. That way you'll get to be notified every time we post new videos, which we do often. All right, let's get right into the subject. So prayer is not just about me, 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 me all the time. Bless me, do this to me, Lord. This and that is me, 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 me. That's actually selfish. Very. Let's talk about the right way to pray. And this is not according to JP. No way. Who am I? This is according to our Lord and Savior, Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah. Let me take you today to the book of Matthew chapter 6. Verses 9 through 13, which is going to read a little bit. All right. So let me dive right into it. Let me read the whole thing and then we'll break it out. Jesus answers, answered one of his disciples who asked him how to pray. And he says, pray then in this way. Our father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors and do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. He starts the prayer with our father who is in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Stop right there. Worship unto the father. Did he say, Lord, bless me? No. The prayer starts with worship unto the father, put in God the father in his rightful place. Hallowed be your name. You can say, I worship you. I lift you up. I honor you. You're incomparable. You're unchangeable. You're glorious. You're wonderful. Blah, blah, blah. Things of that nature. And then it says, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Meaning, you're telling God what comes before everything to you is his desires is his plans is his will putting god's will before yours worshiping god the father praying and showing true care and concern for his will because guess what every single day you wake up god has a mission he wants you to accomplish for him did you care about asking him did you care about paying attention to it it's only after that that he continues and says, give us this day our daily bread. Now we're talking about me. Us, you can replace it by me. Give me, right? And forgive us our debts as we also for have forgiven our debtors and do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So, and then you can talk about you, what you would like him to do for you. Give me what to eat today. Do this to me, Lord, this and that, this and that. If it's not in this order, you're making it hard for yourself. Imagine you go into a king or to a president and just start saying, I have this record. Do this for me. Do this for me. Do this for me. How many thousands of people, millions of people lined up trying to get the attention of the king or of the president? And you're just going to walk in and start talking about your needs? No. How do you greet a president, for example? Your excellency. How do you greet a judge in court? Your honor. A king. Your highness. Everything starts with that. Reverence unto the king. You worship him. Put him in his rightful place. And then you get to what you need. If you don't do the first part, forget the rest. He can't even, you, I mean, you can't even catch his attention. 
to look at you and see what you need. Others are doing it. He's going to pay attention to others while you stay there and you wait. So I just dare you to try this way. Try praying this way. Let's see. Let's see what happens. All right. Give it a shot. Thank you very much. That's going to be all for today. It's not a long video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, like I said, if you enjoy content like this, consider subscribing, clicking on the bell icon. You get notified every time we post new videos. And I hope you're blessed today. May the Lord keep you and bless you. Shalom. I'll see you in the next video. You like that video, huh? Well, I got more for you. But first, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon. That way you get notified every single time that we post a new video. And then you got a couple of videos on the screen for you. Check them out. I'll see you in the next one.